Good morning. We have a new Alice in Wonderland toast. And this one is a vignette. Isn't it beautiful? This beautiful, beautiful Alice in Wonderland clock. It's beautifully put together. What do you think of it? I thought it was beautiful. Love how it turned out. Such a beautiful piece. To add to my Alice in Wonderland collection. And of course, here is my beautiful Alice in Wonderland teapot and teacups. And this was one of my favorite teapots that I got for this year. It's so beautifully decorated all the way around. Let me show you how beautiful this piece is. There's the March Hare. There's Alice. And I'm going to pick it up and turn it around and let you see the whole back. Look at all the beautiful decor that's on this teapot. And you can even see it's finished at the bottom. Now this is from 2004 because like I said, we're collecting these Alice of Wonderland teapots. So the older the better and the more beautiful the better. Let's see. This is the most curious tea party I have ever, ever been to say, Alice. And as you can see, they're all starting to go into a food and tea coma. Isn't it beautiful? Just love everything about it. There's not one inch of this teapot that is not decorated. They're all having a gay or time, as you can say. I just love everything about this teapot. And the centerpiece of this vignette is the clock. And as you notice, the teapot also has a clock face on it too. And he is also holding his watch up. I'm gonna be late, I'm gonna be late. Now this is a time on his clock and I had it match on this clock. I thought it turned out pretty cute. Let me know what you think. And of course, we have these cute cups that go with the teapot put out by the same manufacturer. And it's just beautiful also. Whoops, let's see what we can do about these cups. I guess I could have just pulled one cup out. They're all exactly the same. I thought they were different, but they're still beautifully decorated. There is Alice, there's the Queen, and there's our White Rabbit. I'm late, I'm late for a very important day. And then there is the March Hare and Alice sitting there at the table for the Mad Tea Party. Well, let me put everything back how I had it. Oh, I guess I should show you a plate since I tore everything apart. And these are just beautiful too. See the March hair all passed out. And let's see if I can turn this around. And we have our little plate of um, food and I guess our container of water and then of course what would a party be without goodies and all the foods that goes with it 
is this not beautiful? And of course, we have to have a beautiful teapot. And of course, who do we have popping out of the teapot? Oh no, who is that? Do any of you know? Leave me a comment in the bottom and tell me who that is if you know. I want to see how many of you know the Alice in Wonderland story. So make sure you leave me a comment. Well, I got all my little teacups back going this way and that. Don't know if they're going to fall. So we're going to make this sort of quick. But as you can see, the top cup I have it rested on my dragonfly. Hopefully we'll keep it supported until I get done filming. And then my daughter found this beautiful piece here. I'll probably be using it a lot. It doesn't really go with the theme of Alice in Wonderland because the thing at the end is an apple, but it is red and white, and I thought color-wise it went. So I thought I would try it. Yeah. It's perfectly now that I've put a heart on it. I'm looking at that. I do like it much better. That's the thing about doing things like this. You just keep messing with stuff and you figure out a way to make it look better. Well, what do you think of my Alice in Wonderland vignette? I thought it turned out pretty good. And of course, I thought I did a pretty good job of turning that apple and making the heart the center of the, the center of it instead of an apple. I thought it looked pretty nice. Let me know what you think. Well, I think I have not too much more to share, except if you haven't already seen my beautiful but butterfly always in the cozy corner. Well, you can see that I have him back where you can see him a little better. I've taken some of the flowers off of him because he is such a beautiful piece. I love him. So, and of course, I have my big, beautiful butterfly that I use a lot. And my green one back in the corner is very pretty also. Never hurts to have a bunch of beautiful florals to make everything look better. So this is my Alice in Wonderland vignette for today. Oh my gosh, is it not beautiful? Well, let me know what you think. If you thought it turned out pretty good or if I should have added something a little bit or if I have a little too much. I just wanted to share what I put together this morning. Well, we're almost done with Alice in Wonderland for the month. There may be not but one more post and I'm going to probably do it maybe the last day of the month. I'm going to add a few other things in here that are also new and different for the month of April. Hope you're going to enjoy them. I thought we had a pretty nice full month of Alice in Wonderland and next year I will even have some more pieces and we will redesign and re-put the things I already own in a different way for it will look new and different and fresh. Remember repurposing is great. It saves a lot of money and I'll have new friends by next year that have never seen these pieces either. So Hugs and kisses to all my awesome friends. Hope you enjoyed this beautiful Alice in Wonderland vignette. And if nobody already knows, I'm sure they do, but just in case we have a new person around, a vignette is something you put on a table or a corner, like my cozy corner. You put it on a tray, mine is a mirror tray, to also bring in the looking glass in the story of Alice in Wonderland. You put your items on there and when you need the space for other reasons, you pick up the tray and move it to another corner of your house until you're ready to bring it back. So this is my vignette for Alice in Wonderland by my awesome friends. Hope you enjoyed this Alice in Wonderland vignette.